is four figures from RP Models. RP Models are based in Portugal. We've got John Bassilone, a 100mm bust. He's a Medal of Honor winner from Guadalcanal. We've got the big man himself, General George Patton. That's a 100mm bust. That's from a series called Battle and Commanders. Then we've got from the World War II series, a 100mm bust, Mad Jack Churchill. Then we've got from Normandy, Major John Howard. He's from D Company, 2nd Battalion, Ox and Bucks, of course, in action at Pegasus Bridge. Again, he's 100mm and then comes with extreme detail, as explained on the box. A quick look at the selling points of these range of figures. They're 100mm busts with extreme detail, and we'll talk about that later. Uh, often they're historic characters, which of course make for great subjects. And then they're supposed to be fitting easily for easy assembly. The standout features of this manufacturer is that the figures are digitally designed, so they're designed on a computer, that's transferred to a master, that's 3D printed, and then that is made into a figure. You can see that the 3D renderings are on the box as a selling point. Let's get started. So here's the Basilone character, here's what you get. You get some information and an authenticity guarantee, and you'll see these are limited numbers, so there's only 500 of these made. Here's the main torso. It looks very well moulded, there's no air bubbles or visible problems with the casting at all. What you can see is there's some very positive locators there to help with the assembly. If we just zoom in, you can see the detail of all the webbing. What we'll do now is we'll lay out all the parts so you can see them in detail. It's good crease detail on the arm, you get a couple of grenades. There's the Garand. There's the machine gun. Of course, the face. So the attraction here is the story of the man himself, a Medal of Honor winner, and of course the action pose. One of the advantages of it coming via the computer is the design is excellent. This is a detailed look at the George Patton figure. The leather jacket's got a great texture on it that replicates that sort of uh, flying type jacket he loved so much. There are his signature pistols. The arms as ever are well designed to fit well. And there of course is the face. A pretty good likeness. Now a couple of parts were broken, possibly in transit, we're not sure, but it's easily fixed. There are the binoculars. There's the helmet with the three stars. 500 made. And you get a bit of history as well. All in all, a great subject. And it's just crying out to be painted. Here's Major John Howard. As you can see, it's quite a substantial kit. In this scale, at least. These are the bagged parts. Slightly less crease detail and sort of texture than you'd find in maybe a conventionally sculpted figure. But at this scale, we don't think that really matters. There are the arms. And of course, the all-important head, the very aggressive, snarling look. Ammo pouches, there we are, a pistol in its holster, the helmet, of course, which has got some great camo netting detail. Some grenades, an assorted dagger and cup and so on, water canteen, and of course, the sten. This kit has 17 parts in all. Here are the 14 or so parts that make up Mad Jack Churchill. And if you're wondering what all the bow and arrow is about, that's because he was uh, renowned for having gone into action with a longbow. He was a longbowman. He also went in with this sort of broadsword. Here's the torso. There you can see the all-important face. And details of the creasing and moulding. You get a helmet. Here are all the other parts. Here's the longbow. Just a case of carefully detaching it. 
The attraction here is just the sort of anachronism of a, an archer in 1940. You can't fault RP models for <laughs> choosing a fantastic subject, an unusual subject, an appealing choice of character and an exciting pose. Again, this is a limited edition. There's 200 of these available. And that rounds off our review of RP models figure range. Remember, they're all available from Hysterex Agents. Thanks and bye.